Interviewer, John, thank you for agreeing to speak with us today. Can you tell us a little bit about your background and how you ended up in prison? John, well, I was involved in a militia group for many years, and I was the leader of a small group of followers. We caused a lot of destruction and chaos in the YouTube community, and I ended up getting arrested and sentenced to seven years in prison. It's been a difficult and humbling experience, but I've learned a lot about myself and the consequences of my actions. Interviewer, what led you to join the militia in the first place? John, at the time, I was really caught up in the idea of race hustling and fighting for what I believed was right. I thought that being a leader and standing up for my beliefs was the right thing to do, but I realize now that I was wrong. I was blinded by my own ego and pride, and I ended up causing a lot of harm to others. Interviewer, how has your time in prison affected your views on leadership and the militia? John, I've learned a lot while I've been in here. I've had time to reflect on my actions and the harm that I caused, and I've realized that being a leader isn't about power or control. It's about serving others and bringing about positive change in the world. I don't want to be involved in the militia or any other groups that cause harm and division. I just want to live a simple and peaceful life, and I hope that my story can serve as a cautionary tale for others. Interviewer, what advice do you have for others who may be tempted to join a militia or get involved in violent or extremist groups? John, I would advise them to think very carefully about the consequences of their actions. It's easy to get caught up in the thrill of the moment and the idea of fighting for a cause, but the reality is that violence and extremism only lead to more suffering and pain. It's important to find healthy and constructive ways to channel your energy and make a difference in the world. Interviewer, what happened to you John that put you in the hospital? John, I was out in the prison yard, exercising like I always do, when I was suddenly attacked by a group of inmates who were loyal to a rival gang. I was completely caught off guard and overwhelmed by their numbers. I've never been beaten like that before, and it was a really humbling experience for me. I've always acted tough and pretended that I could handle anything that came my way, but the truth is that I couldn't fight back. I was completely helpless and at their mercy. Interviewer, that must have been a very frightening and difficult experience for you. How did you manage to survive and eventually recover? John, I owe my survival and recovery to the quick actions of the prison guards and the medical team at the hospital. They saved my life and provided me with the care and treatment that I needed. It was a long and difficult journey, but I eventually made a full recovery and was transferred back to the prison to serve out the remainder of my sentence. Interviewer, what impact do you think that experience had on you, both physically and emotionally? John, it was a wake-up call for me. It showed me how fragile and vulnerable we all are, and it made me realize that I needed to make some serious changes in my life. I realized that I couldn't keep pretending to be tough and invulnerable, and that I needed to be honest with myself and others about my weaknesses and flaws. It was a difficult and humbling experience, but I believe that it was necessary for my personal growth and development. Interviewer, well, John, it's been a pleasure speaking with you today. Your story is one of resilience and redemption, and I have no doubt that you will continue to make positive contributions to the prison community and beyond. Your willingness to be honest and open about your mistakes and your journey towards change is truly inspiring, and I hope that your story will be a source of hope and encouragement for others who may be struggling with similar challenges. Thank you again for your time, and best of luck to you in the future.